Okay, Gage, sorry, but we had to get, these are new books, so you're not going to have this one. Okay, I've got it here waiting for you. So just pay close attention and then, but you'll have the page for the homework. Okay. All right. Page 245. We are going to be identifying factors. Page 245. If you are up front, you need to spread out. All right. Do you know what a factor is? Yes. What? Two yep. It's the two numbers that you multiply together, right? To get an answer, okay? So if we said, hey, no. If we said we wanted to find the factors of 18, okay? Well, a lot of times you're going to draw a T chart, right? Well, one times what is 18? Can we do two times something to get 18? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two times yeah. what? Can I do three times something to get 18? Yes. Three times what? Six. Six. Can I do four times something? Yeah. I can. No. Can I do five times something? No. No. And then we're back at six. So what are the factors of 18? One, two, three, four. One and 18, two and nine, three and six. Okay, those are the factors. So the factors are the two numbers that you multiply together to get the answer. Okay, Corbin, there's no reason you should be looking at Tegan. Okay, all right. So Mrs. Aisha owns a bakery. She wants to put all of these blueberry muffins in a display case with the same number of muffins on each shelf. Which display case should she use? So let's count how many muffins we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so if I didn't, 16 muffins and put them on three shelves, would I get the same number on each shelf? Mm -hmm. Tell me what. You're correct, but tell me what. Boys. Kate? Okay. Right. Is there three times something that equals 16? What about four? Is there four times something yeah. that equals 16? Yeah. Yeah. So how many could we put on each shelf? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that one would work, right? So is four a factor of 16? Yes. Yes, right? Because four times something is 16. It's a factor of 16, right? So far, so good? Yeah. Okay, let's turn the page. Andrew, you need to go lay down? Okay, look at me, but this is a new concept, so you're going to want to pay attention, okay? So Mrs. Aisha makes a new kind of granola bar for her customers to try. She wants to display 40 bars in equal rows on a tray. Can Mrs. Aisha place all the bars in five equal rows? Okay, Mason, leave them alone. Can she do that? Yeah. Yes. How do we know? Because eight times five is 40. So it's five a factor of 40? Yes. So if we had five equal rows, so one, two, three, four, five. So five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So would that work? Yes. We could also say five times something is 40. Yes. 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 Five times something is 40. Y
Because five times what is 40? Eight. Eight. So is five a factor of 40? Yes. Okay. Okay, all right. Mrs. Aisha has 35 loaves of French bread. She wants to put the same number of loaves in three baskets. Can she put all the loaves in the basket with none left over? So what are we figuring out? Is three a factor of 35? No. Okay, and you're correct. It is not a factor. Why not? Because nothing times three equals 35. Right. So they're showing you here, whoops, we could also divide to figure it out. Well, how many times can three go into three? Minus three, we get zero, bring down the five. How many times can three go into five? Minus three, we get two. So we have a remainder. If you get a remainder, is that a factor? No, it can't go into it evenly, right? So is she able to put it in, put all of them? What are we doing? What are we doing? Can she put all of them equally in the three baskets? No, one would have more than the other. So is three a factor of 35? No, we know because there was a remainder, right? Okay. What? Say that again? Yeah, but then the third basket would have less. She wanted an equal number in each, right? Okay. Remember, you know it's a factor if you divide and there's a whole number with no remainder, all right? Okay, so these are some divisibility rules to help you figure out if, if a bigger number has a factor of this, okay? All right, so, and these are actually hanging back there by the multiplication chart also. Okay, so, a number is divisible by a second number if the quotient or the answer is a whole number and the remainder is zero. All right, so is 84 divided by divisible by two? So a number can be divisible by two if the number is even. Is 84 even? Yes. So can it be divisible by two? Yes. yes. So how can we solve, how can we check to make sure we're right? 84 times two. Times two? Divided by, divided by two. 84 divided by two. How many times can two go into eight? Four. What would I subtract? Eight. And I get, four. bring down the four. How many times can two go into four? Two. So it'd be 42. All right, is 84 divisible by three? No. Hold on, hold on. So if we look up here, the sum of the two digits is divisible by three. What does sum mean? Add. You add. So if we added eight plus four, what do we get? Twelve. Is twelve divisible by three? Yes. Yes. So you is eighty-four divisible by three? Yes. How can we check it? Eighty-four divided by three, right? 84 divided by 3. How many times can 3 go into 8? 2. And I would subtract 6, and I get 2, bring down the 4. How many times can 3 go into 24? And I would get 24, right, with nothing left over. Okay, is 84 divisible by 6? So a number, <laughs> can we 6? Still, up front, a number is divisible by six if that same number is divisible by both two and three. Well, was it divisible by two? Yeah. Was it divisible by three? Yeah. So will it be divisible by six? Yes. Yeah. How can we check it? 84 divided by six. 84 divided by six. How many times can six go into eight? One. And I subtract, and I get, bring down the four. How many times can six go into 24? Four. And then we get nothing left over, right? 
Okay, so it is a factor, right? Or it is divisible. So tell me, we were able to do 84 divided by six, right? Yeah. So is six a factor of 84? Yes. yes. Because it was six times 14 equals 84, right? So both six and 14 are factors of 84. Corbin, I am up here, okay? If I have to say it again, you're going to walk tomorrow. All right, let's do another one. Mrs. Aisha wants to put 51 bagels in bins with the same number in each bin. Should she use three or four bins? Use factors to justify your answer. So we have to figure out, is three a factor of 51 or is four a factor of 51? Let's go ahead and look up here at our thing, right? So is it divisible by three? The sum of the digits is divisible by three. Well, what are our two digits? Five and one. And what's the sum of five and one? Is six divisible by three? Yes. Okay, so could we take 51 divided by three and get an even number? Yes. So is three a factor of 51? Yeah. Okay, let's check for four. Uh, let's see. Well, the last two digits form a number that's divisible by four. That's not very helpful, is it? But can four go into 51 evenly? It can't. How can we figure it out? So 51 divided by 4. How many times can 4 go into 5? And I subtract and I get, bring down the 1. How many times can 4 go into 11? 2. And I subtract and I get, so there I would have a remainder, right? So is 4 a factor? So how many bins should she use? Three. So three bins. Okay. Um, how can I double check? What can I do to make sure? Your body divided by three. 51 divided by three. How many times can three go into five? And I subtract and I get, bring down the one. How many times can three go into 21? And I subtract 21 and I get zero. zero. So three times 17 equals 21. So both three and 17 21. are factors of 51. I meant, I meant 51, all right? Okay, there are 26 members in the marching band. Can all of the members march in four equal rows? <laughs> Okay, yes or no, can they? No. Yes. Can they? Yeah. How I'm could they? Out. How do we, how am I gonna figure this out? How can I figure yeah, it out? Can I, is four times anything 26? No. So can they all march in equal rows? No. no. Okay. It says use, uh, div what do we need, Mason? What do you need to show him? Huh? There's what? Okay, leave him alone. Then. All right, so how can we show this? How could we show it? It says we could use divisibility, right? Okay, so how could I show that? So we could do 26 divided by four. How many times can four go into 26? Six times, and that would be 24, and we have two left over. Okay. Could we also show the factors around it? Well, let's see. Two times 13, right? Can we take three times anything to get 26? Yeah, but no. We can't do four either, right? So we can't do five. We can do six. No. 
Nope. So that, that would just be it then, right? Okay. All right. Is six a factor of 32? Yes or no? You tell me. No. no. Okay. They want us to do a visual model. So we're going to put them in, in rows of six. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. Looking at that shape, is six a factor of thirty-two? No, because no, we've got here we have this nice square, right? But then we got this little doodad here that's left over. So is six a factor of 32? No. no. All right. Is five a factor of 25? It will be, right? But they want us to show. So how far down would I go? Five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So is five a factor? Yes. Yeah. Five times what is 25? Five. So five times five equals 25. All right, let's turn the page. All right, so is seven a factor of 29? They want us to use division to explain. Okay, how many times can seven go into nine? How many? One. One. What do I subtract? Can I get? Bring down the one. How many times can seven go into 21? Three. Three, and I subtract? And I get? Zero. Okay, so is seven a factor of 31? Yes. How do we know? There was no remainder, right? So seven times 13 is 91. All right, is eight a factor of 94? How many times can eight go into nine? And what would I subtract? Eight. And I get? One. And then? Seven four. four. How many times can eight go into 14? And I subtract, and I get the remainder six. Is eight a factor of four? No. Of 94? It's not, right? How do we know, though? Because it has a remainder. It has a remainder. Is five a factor of 80? Mm -hmm. How do you know? Zero. Right. It ends in a? Zero. Okay. So is five a factor of 80? Yes. And we would say ends in a zero. Is nine a factor of 88? No. Well, nine says the sum of the digits is divisible by nine. So what's eight plus eight? 16. So 8 plus 8 equals 16. Can we do 16 divided by 9? No. no. So is 9 a factor of 88? No. Okay. All right. Questions on that? I'm not sure I understand. Oh, you just chill. Okay. Let's look at the homework. Okay, page 97. Andrew. Are we going to come back and do all these other pages? I don't know yet. If we don't. I don't know yet. So right now we're going to leave them. Okay. Page 97 in your homework book. 10.2. Oh 10.2. Hey, can I start? Are we all here? Hey, we need to get quiet then. All right, please put your name at the top. There are 29 desks 
in a classroom. Can all the desks be placed in three equal rows? Okay, they want us to draw the array to show our work. So how far down am I gonna go? Three. three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Okay, that's Okay, so here's our array, right? So can all of the desks be placed in three equal rows? Yes or no? No. Okay. Um, can we take three times anything to get 29? No. Can I do 29 divided by 3? Well, how many times can 3 go into 29? Zero. No. Three. More than that. Four. Come on, nine. guys. Nine. Nine. What would I subtract? 27. And I get 2. So I'd have a remainder. So that tells us it's not divisible. Okay, use, so number two, you're going to divide to figure out if five is a factor of 58, yes or no on the line. Okay, number three, let me find that page. Stop talking. Okay, is three a factor of 75? So the sum of the digits is divisible by three. So what's seven plus five? Equals 12. Can we do 12 divided by three? Can I do 12 divided by three? And what would I get there? Four. So is three a factor of 75? Yes or no? Yes. 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 How else can we figure that out? If you didn't know, we can take 75 divided by three, right? Do you need to have all of that on there? Okay. Dirk bought a set of stamps. The number of stamps in the set he bought is divisible by two, three, five, six, and nine. Which set is it? All right, so we've got 90. Is 90 divisible by two? Yeah. Yes, how do you know? It's even, right? All right, is 90 divisible by three? So remember the sum of the digits, right? So what's nine plus zero? Nine. Is nine divisible by three? Yes. Yes. So is 90 divisible by three? Yes. Where, honey? Right there. Yes, I'm just showing my work here. If you can't see, bring it up here. So is 90 divisible by three? Okay, is 90 divisible by five? You guys, yes. how do you know it is? Because it ends in zero. Okay, is 90 divisible by six? Well, no. so it is if the number is divisible by both two and three. Well, was 90 divisible by both two and three? Yes. So is it divisible by six? Yes. Okay, and then nine says the sum of the digits is divisible by nine. Well, nine plus zero is nine. Can you take nine divided by nine? Yes. Yes, you can. What would you get? Zero. One. Okay, so is 90 divisible by nine? What would it be? What's 90 to 10, right? Well, did that one work? 
So which set did he get? So Germany. All right, turn the page. Okay, you have to figure out which number has four as a factor. Meaning you can take four times something and get one of these answers. Okay, number six. They give you the number. You're going to tell me, is it divisible by six? Is it divisible by eight? So 24. Can you do 24 divided by six? Yes. Yep, so you'll fill it in. Can you do 24 divided by eight? Yes. Yes, what would you get? Three. Okay, 32. Can we take 32 divided by six? Yes. Tell me, six times what is 32? Close. No, not even close. Is there anything? No. No. So we leave that blank. Is 32 divisible by eight? Because yes. eight times what is 32? Four. Four. So you need to finish the last two. Which numbers are factors of 84? Okay, select all the correct answers. It would probably be super helpful for you if you used this chart in your book. Okay, that's on page 248, right? Okay. Number the eight. Tess washes grapes and puts them and puts all of them in three bags. She puts an equal number of grapes in each bag, which could be the number of grapes that Tess washes. So whichever one you pick, it has to be divisible by what number? Three. Three. Okay. Number nine. Um, okay, let me show you one. Can we cover up the zero? Yes. So can we just do 17 times four? Yes. Okay, four times seven is 28, carry the two. Four times one plus two. So we get 68, but I covered up a zero, so what do I have to do? Add it back, okay? You can do the same thing for this one, cover up the zero. Okay, number 10, you're going to find the area. You remember, how do we find area? No, area equals, remember, length plus width times width, right? So here we would do the area equals, well, what would I multiply? No. No. Nine times three, guys. What's our length? Three times what's the width? Nine. So what is three times nine? 27. Okay, and for area, okay, you're gonna find, you label it as square meters. Okay, remember how we counted the squares? Okay, Corbin and Tegan. So whenever you label area, it has to be square meters. Okay, questions? All right, I want you to return to your seat, please. I haven't moved it, have I? When you have it all 